you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 24th third sunday in ordinary time let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 1 verses 14 to 20 Now after John was arrested Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near repent and believe in the good news as Jesus passed along the sea of Galilee he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and Jesus said to them follow me and i will make you fish for people and immediately they left their nets and followed him as he went a little further he saw james son of zebedee and his brother john who were in their boat mending the nets immediately he called them and they left their father zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends In today's mass we begin we again look at the Jesus calling disciples and see how they responded that to call Today's gospel is in two parts first the call and the challenge and second response to the call The setting of God's gospel is immediately after Jesus baptism in the Jordan when he received the endorsement of his father and was filled with the spirit of God John the Baptist has been recently arrested literally handed over as jesus himself will be and his followers after him we are reminded of this in the consecration of every mass this is my body which will be handed over for you the kingdom is near so now jesus in galilee begins his public life and mission he proclaims the good news the gospel and heal to the people those who are sick it is summed up very simple in two lines the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god has come near and repent and believe in the goodness the expected time has come the arrival of the messiah the savior king and so the kingdom of god is close at hand the kingship the reign of god this kingdom is not a place but rather a web of relationship those belonging to the kingdom are those who accept the life vision that jesus gave to us and whose lives are based on that vision of life the key to the kingdom how are we to enter that kingdom repent and believe in the good news in the first reading we see jonah the reluctant prophet preaching repentance to the city of nineveh contrary to his expectation the vegan peoples of the city believed in god and renounced their evil behavior repent here is more than just being sorry for the past it involves a radical conversion a change of direction and the priorities in life responding to the call the second part of today's gospel shows the first responses to this call four fishermen are called follow me and i will make you fishers of people at once we are told peter and andrew left their nets and followed after jesus at once leaving their father zebedee and his hired men james and john also went after him it was a complete act of trust and a total surrender of themselves to what actually they had no idea where they are going they had no idea of uh, what the future held this was the extent of their great trust in this man who came out of the blue into their lives and uh, challenged them to leave behind their security and throw in their lot with him. our response the call is uh, still going out to each one of us i am ready to answer to follow what are my needs limits my freedom to follow what personal relationships are blocking my way what anxieties what self-centered ambitions paul in today's second reading tells 
Corinthians <coughs> to live in total freedom and detachment. Nothing we have, whether things are personal attachments or permanent and can disappear to at a moment's notice. Whether life is very good or bad, nothing lasts except the fundamental values of truth and love, of freedom and justice. It is what we are, not what we have that counts. So ask today to hear the call, ask to have the freedom to follow the call and to be ready to go wherever Jesus is going. Jesus is asking us to go. Amen. May God bless us.